Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ito na yung continuation ng operations on functions, yung letter D, number 3 ng inyong mga module. So, ang laman nito ay number 3 to 6. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Sana mga auto-like na tayo dyan, ha? At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. So, for number 3, let's have this one. Let m of x is equal to the square root of x plus 3. Uh, n of x is equal to x cubed minus 32. Ayan. And p of x is equal to 9x minus 5. Find yung composite ng uh, m and then n minus p of 4. So, ang gagawin natin, kunin muna natin yung value ng n minus p. Okay, wherein ang x natin ay magiging 4. Okay, so let's have n of 4. Ano ba yan? n of 4. Ay, sorry, wait nga, ayusin ko. Manangyayari sa ball pen ni Teacher Maria. So, we have n of 4 is equal to 4 raised to 3 minus 32. So, ito yun ha, yung x pinalitan natin ng 4. So, 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. Minus 32, you have 32. Okay, so n of 4 is 32. Ito kasi yung gagamitin na natin mamaya. Ha? And then, we have here uh, p of x. So, p of 4 is equal to 9 times 4. So, yung x mo magiging 4 na siya. Minus 5. And then, 9 uh, times 4 is 36 minus 5. So, that's 31. So, what is now n minus p of 4? Okay. So, that's 32 minus 31. So, what is 32 minus 31? 1. Ngayon, ito ngayon yung isa-substitute natin dito sa m. Okay, sa m of x. So, instead, uh, uh, so we will have here m of n minus p of 4. Pero, itong n minus p natin is, uh, teka yung composite, is 1 na siya. So, magiging m of 1 na siya. Okay? So, square root of, ano yung x natin? 1 na siya. 1 plus 3. So, what is 1 plus 3? You have 4. Ano yung square root ng 4? 2. Okay? So, ang iyong composite ng Sorry ha, hindi ko anong hindi ako marunong magbasa nito. Okay, of 4 is this one. <laughs> Tama, intindihan ba yung sulat ni Teacher Maria? Okay, ayusin ko. Aha. Iyan and then paano ba to dalawang iyan? Ayan. Ayan. Puro na ayan. Okay, so ito yung final answer natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, kunin yung value ni n, kunin yung value ng p at x equals to 4, and then i-minus natin, and then yung magiging resulta, yun ngayon yung isa-substitute natin for m of x. Okay, now for number 4, we have this one. We have to subtract w, v, and k, and then yung x natin, 3. So, hiwahiwalayin muna natin i-solve, ha? So, w of 3 is equal to 4 times 3 minus 2. Yun kasi yung technique doon mga anak ha. Kung may value kayong ganyan, isubstitute mo muna. Saka nyo sila pagsasama-sama yun sa isang operation ha. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. So, this one is 10. Next yung V naman. V is equal to 3 times 3. <laughs> Wait. V of 3. Dapat. Ayan. So, v, v of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 8. So, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 8 is 17. Okay. So, V of 3. 
Saka tayo mag minus mamaya, ha? And then, k of x. So, so k of 3 is equal to negative 5 times 3 minus 9. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 minus 9. So, negative 15 minus 9, k, c, c, keep, change, and change. So, you will have negative 24. Tama ba? Uh, 5, oh, 24. So, ito yung k of 3. So, pwede na natin i-minus W. So, that's 10 minus 17 minus 24. Okay, 10 minus 17 muna tayo. That's negative 7. Okay, now what is negative 7 times, ah, minus negative 4? Negative 7 minus 24. Tama ba yung sinabi ko kanina? Negative 7 minus 24. So, K, C, C, keep change and then change. So, your answer is negative 31. O, oh, eto na ngayon yan. Eto na si W minus V minus K of 3. Kayo na yung magsulat dito ha, hindi na magkasya. And for the last one, number 5, if S of X is equal to 3X minus 4 and R of X is equal to 3 over X plus 5, find R, S plus 3 of X. So, i-add muna natin to ha, S plus R. So, ang S natin, S of X, plus r of x yan. So, 3x minus 4, okay, and that is plus, teka, 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 wait lang, rational pala to. Ayan, okay, ulit. We have 3, 3x minus 4 plus, 3 over x plus 5. Dahil rational to, ito ay over 1. Kunin muna natin yung LCD. Ang LCD nila ay x plus 5. Meron pa pala tayong 6. So, we have here x plus 5. And then, x plus 5 divided by 1 is x plus 5 times 3x minus 4. So, x plus 5 times 3x minus 4. Okay, plus, dahil lang x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 is 1 times 3. So, 3 lang siya. And then, we multiply this one. x times 3, that's, uh, x times 3x, that's 3x squared. 5 times 3x is 15x. 4 times negative 4, uh, x times negative 4. Sorry, ano na ba to? Sorry, halas dos na kasi. X times negative 4 is negative 4X. And then, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Tama ba? 3X squared, 15, negative 4, negative 20. Okay, plus 3 over X plus 5. Okay, so yung 3X squared, okay na yan. 15X minus 4, 4X is how many? 11, no? Plus 11X. And then, negative 20 plus 3, that's negative 17. Okay, over x plus 5. Okay, pero hindi pa tapos kasi kailangan i-times pa siya kay 3. So, etong buong to, ita-times natin siya by 3. Okay, so anong magiging sagot? 3 times 3, that's 9x squared. And then, plus 33x. And then, what is 17 times 3? Ilan ba yan, ha? Ilan, ilan, ilan? Teka lang. 17 times 3 is 51. So, minus 51 over x plus 5. Okay, so, eto na to, ha? And then, for the last one, we have this one. Kasi, mumultiply daw natin silang tatlo. Okay? So, eto naman. Sa multiplication naman, pwedeng mag, ano, ha? Mag... Uh, magkabalik-baliktad yung factors natin, ha? Kasi mas magandang unahin ito, saka ito. Bago i-multiply dito. So, let's have here 6x plus 2 times x minus 3. Tapos, times 3x over 2. So, unahin natin to This is, how many? 6x squared plus 2x ilan to? Negative 18x 6 times negative 3. And then, you have negative 6. Okay? And then, times 3x over 2. Combine lang natin si yung gitna. Ito. 
So, this is 2 minus 18. That's negative 16x minus 6. And then, saka natin siya ito times k 3x over 2. O, distribute lang ha. 6 times 3 is how many? That's 18 x raised to 3. Kasi may x sila. Minus 6 times 16, ah, 16 times 3. That's 48 x squared ha. Kasi dalawang x. And then, negative 6 times 3. That's negative 18 x. Over 2 ha, kasi ito over 1. So, 1 times 2 is over 2. Then, divide lang natin sila. 18 divided by 2 is 9x raised to 3. 48 divided by 2 is 24x squared. 18 divided by 2 is 9 ulit, 9x. And then, that's it. Okay, ito na yung sagot natin. Ngayon, kung natutunan mo ang video na ito at nagustuhan mo dahil natulungan kita, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha, mga anak. Please leave a comment ha, kahit thank you, kahit smiley. Basta mag-iwan ng comment para maapang video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. And baka gusto niyong tulungan yung mga classmates ninyo na nahihirapan at nababaliw na rin sa mat, ipasan niyo tong video na ito. Okay, and please follow, follow our Facebook page, Love Math. TV. Okay? Bisitahin nyo ako dyan. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!